I want to talk very quickly about something that annoys the fuck out of me. Now listen, I understand that in the early phases of a relationship, it's very important to establish a bond and to establish a connection with your partner. There's still some things about them that you know, you're trying to get to know and there's still some things about you that they're trying to get to know. You're still trying to become fully acquainted with one another. Understand that. Here's what I don't like. I don't like people who feel like They can't divide their time or feel like because they're in a relationship that they should give all of their time to their companion who feel like the person that they're in a relationship with is more deserving of their time than everyone else or feel like the person they're in a relationship with should be their everything she should be my girl she should be my friend, she should be my buddy, she gonna be my mom, she gonna be my dad, she gonna be my everything. I don't need a mom because I got her. I don't need a dad because I got her. I don't need homies because I got her. Like, I don't think that's healthy. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I think that's very counterproductive. I don't, I fucking hate that. I, 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 and, and it's like, I don't, I, I feel like these people become obsessed with their partners and they make their whole life about their partner. You understand what I'm saying? Like, that whole life consists of being around that one motherfucker. Like, is that all you, you know what I'm saying? Like, is that all you want to be around? Like, is that all you do with your life is stay up under one? I don't even understand how you can even stay up under one person. I don't care how much I love somebody. I was in fucking relationships before, too. And I could not stay up under the same motherfucker all the time. After a while, I get tired of seeing you. After a while, I don't even want to, the way you eat start turning me off. The way you walk get on my fucking nerves. I don't even like the way you fucking breathe. You understand? You ever, you ever, y'all people don't understand. People that have been in a relationship for a very long time. Y'all understand how it is when y'all around somebody for so fucking long. It's like they, they start to really annoy you. Like, you'd be like, okay, get out the house. Go somewhere. You ever hear a woman say that to her man? Just go, go somewhere. Go out with your buddies and go, go, go fishing with your buddies. Go to the basketball game. Go get, get out the house. You know what I mean? Or, a guy say that about, about this woman. Like, don't, can't you go out there with Keisha and them? Like, do something. Get out of here, girl. Get out of my way. You love your companion. But sometimes you need time to yourself. Sometimes you need time with your girls. You understand what I'm saying? Sometimes you need time with your boys. You know what I mean? Ain't nothing wrong with going out, having boy night. Go Going out with the fellas, you know, going to the bar, talking, laughing, talking about life. You know what I mean? Maybe playing some pool, playing some chess, going to the movies with your homies, playing some video games with your homies. Just going, you know, having boys night. Going to your homie house and y'all just all sit around and do shit that men do. You know what I mean? Play video games, talk, laugh, joke, fight, whatever. Same thing with y'all women. Go out to the mall with your girlfriends, get your nails done, you know, whatever. You understand what I'm saying? But some people are not like that, and I don't understand people why they feel like they have to be like that. I don't know if it's insecurity. I don't know if they feel like they have to be up around the person all the time because they feel so insecure that they feel like if they spend two seconds away from the person that they're going to get taken by somebody else so that the person is fucking with somebody else behind their back. I don't know what the case is, but it really turns me off, and I've had people like that on Facebook where they cool with you, they fuck with you, but the moment they get a girlfriend, no more calls. I mean, damn, nigga, you ain't even hit me up in my inbox and say what's up. Like, I mean, you just left me hanging, so I guess I don't, I don't mean nothing to you no more, right? Because you got a girl now, right? You know what I mean? I, I've had female friends like that, too. You know, I've talked to my female friends. They get a man, and it's like, well, damn. So I understand in the early parts of a relationship why it's important. You know, you probably I understand. I'm like, you know, the, the, the relationship is fresh. You know, I'm going to get them some time. I'm going to back off. Let them get to know their partner because I'm not a selfish motherfucker, and I realize that you know, their life don't just consist of me. This is their, their partner. I actually, let's take it even further, I actually feel like you should spend probably more time with your companion than with your friends because your companion is your companion. And I mean, you're intimate with them. You know what I mean? That, that's your loved one. You know, you're sleeping with them every night. But I'm just, that, that's, that's what I feel though. Like, 
if you're sleeping with them every night, you see them every day you wake up in the morning, you see them every motherfucking night that you go to bed, they sleeping beside you every motherfucking day, you're fucking them every day, you're probably washing up together, eating together. You can't, like, like take two hours out of a week to spend just with your boys, like, just hang out just with your boys. I've heard so many guys say this, well, you know, I don't understand niggas like that, man. My, my homie, we was tight. That was my dog. He got a girl now. He, like, he don't even know me. I ain't talked to that nigga in, like, five years. All he, he all up under his girl. Like, that nigga just got no time for nobody else. Like, I don't understand that. Like, and to me, that's not a, to me, that's not a loyal you friend. Like, you know, if... Because I, I don't feel like you being in a relationship should interfere with your friendship. I feel like you should be able to divide your time. I do understand that there's going to be some time taken away from a friend because, you know, like I said, you know, your friend is in a relationship now. I, I totally understand. You understand what I'm saying? Like, so I'm not, I'm not going to be able to hang around my homie, you know, from three all the way to all the way to ten o'clock at night. You know what I mean? He get off of work three o'clock. Hit me up, yo Jay. What's up? Let's 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 chill, man. Let's let's play a video game. Let's do this. Let's do that. I'm not gonna be able to hang with him, even though I enjoy that time because we just crazy and I, I we get along. We got a great connection, you know. And I enjoy him. He enjoy me. I understand. I'm not gonna be able to spend as much time talking to him or conversing with him or or spending time with him from you know when he get off of work all the way to you know late night like I used to. You understand what I'm saying? Because. He has a partner now. Same thing with my female friends. She has a man she got to go home to. I totally understand that. I'm not trying to get in the way of that. But every fucking night, though, like seven days out of a week, you got to be home with, with, your, with your boo. Like, you can't... Okay, Monday, you home with your boo. Sun, Tuesday, you home with your boo. Wednesday, you home with your boo. Thursday, you home with your boo. You can't... You couldn't... I mean, you didn't have no time to just call me for 20 minutes so we can just chat. I had some things about life I wanted to share with you. You couldn't chat with me for like seven fucking minutes. It's that deep. They need every every inch and speck of your fucking time. You know what I'm saying? Like you couldn't take one of those nights out of. I mean, let's say two weeks go by. What about what about one night out of every two weeks? We just chill like homies, like we used to. Or you chill with your girlfriends like you used to before she got you know married. You can't even spend, I mean, not even like one day out of a month. I mean, my God, they just completely alienate them, themselves from you. Like, they don't even know you. Don't want to talk to you. You you call them. They, they brush you off the phone. You know what I mean? Act like they don't really got much to say to you. You know what I mean? You can hear the, you know, even that tone of voice sound different. Like, they, they ain't really fucking with you no more. They don't really feel you. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they, they just seem really disinterested. They had this very callous tone, like... Uh, you know, what's up, you know, uh, um, can I call you back later? Oh, okay, peace. Like, they just seem like they're just not fucking with you no more. And that just really annoys me. And to me, I don't think that's a loyal friend. I don't, I feel like if, you know, somebody can just come into your life and just, you know, take you away from an individual and you don't, because I feel like if you really fuck with somebody and if you fully, really care about somebody, you really love somebody, you really enjoy somebody, a partner's not going to stop that. You know, the, the time may be, you know, shortened. You may not be able to spend as much time with your, your friends as you used to. That's understandable. But you shouldn't just eliminate them from your life. And I feel like if you just eliminate somebody from your life that you claim is a friend, just because you're now in a relationship, I don't feel like you ever, they was ever really your friend. I feel like you was just using them because you didn't have nobody to keep you company at that time. And now that, you got a, now that you're in a relationship, I guess you feel like, oh, I don't need you no more because I, I got somebody. I don't need you no more. I got a man. I don't need you no more. I got a woman. But guess what? When that motherfucker break up with you, because guess what? The, the fact of the matter is, wow, Intimate relationships they claim are more important than just a regular friendship because people always degrade friendship. Oh, it's just a friendship. He's just a friend or she's just a friend. That's your that's your man or that's your woman. I, I beg to differ. I think that friendships are maybe a little more important. People think that relationships are more important. A person that you're in a relationship with, your companion is is more important and should come first because you're intimate with them. But I don't think so because to me, I just look at them like they're just a friend that you're fucking. Because studies show that people are friends with individuals longer on average than they're actually married to people. I mean, how, how long nowadays do, do the, the average marriage last? They said three years. The average marriage, marriage lasts two to three years now. How long do the average relationship last? 
in the gay community, I think it's like six months. In the straight community, I think it's like a year and a half. In the black community, I think it's less than that. So basically, we could make the argument that people that you're, in a, your, your companions, they're in and out your life. Whereas the friends are usually lifelong. You know what I mean? Friends come and go too sometimes, but your, your real friends usually are, are there through thick and thin. You understand what I'm saying? I done got friends that been with 15 people <laughs> and I'm still here in that life. You understand what I'm saying? So never do that because guess what? When that person leave or if that relationship don't work out, because it, it, it's, a, it's a better chance that you would end your relationship with your companion than your best friend. Your best friend always gonna be there, pretty much. Don't come back to me with your issues. Don't come back to me, Jarnell. I need to talk. Oh, why? Because your girl ain't with you no more? 